We're here with Stacy Pacheco. Very good. With Current Backyard, and you have an electric grill here. Tell us about it. I do, and it's actually the first full-size electric grill that is Wi-Fi enabled. Um, it allows you to connect to not only your better cooking skills, but it also lets you connect within your backyard. This is the first Wi-Fi enabled grill that's out there in the market um, that is electric. A um, few things to show you on the grill is you can control it right here at the control panel. Okay. So you can see both sides I've got connected right now. Or maybe I just want to set one side. Here we, we're going to set that side to 350. I'm going to set the side to 570. So put two temperatures, one side, this side? Yep. So you got dual zones. You've got one zone here that I've set to 575 and the other one at 350. This is telling me what it's at right now. It. So it's going to toggle between the two temperatures. And you can also see on the app, it's also coming up. So it's showing 350 on one side, 575 on the other. Say 575 is too hot. I want to bring it down to 490, right zone only. It's going to change it here and it's going to change it there so you're going to see it come up at 490 actually on the panel as well the other thing i really love about this is we've got the meat probes we've got four temperature probes and what we can do with the temperature probes is say i want to cook a i don't know say i want to cook a burger i want to make one rare and so it's telling me it's 125 degrees i'm going to set the temperature You'll see 125 come up underneath this 80. And so that's the temperature that it's going to go to. This one, we want this burger to be, say we want this one to be, um, the other kid wants it medium well. Yep. So I'm going to set that temperature at 155. So you can see that it's going to both places. And so this is going to tell me um, where I am versus the temperature. And it's also going to tell me on my watch, send me notifications of when I need to flip it. Um, and also when it's going to be done. And when it's done, the heat doesn't turn off. You just have to pull it off, right? Or you pull it off okay. and then I can turn it off from here as okay. well. Um, the other thing this allows me to do is it allows me to go in and select some recipes. So maybe I want to make some grilled pork chops. It's going to come up and... Slow Wi-Fi here on the... Uh... Yeah, it's a little <laughs> slow. It was coming up faster for me a second ago. Let's see if I can get a different one to come up faster. Let's do the kimchi. So it'll be an interactive um, recipe guide. So what's the idea with the recipe guides? You, it'll tell you like ingredients to add and you're kind of yeah, following? Yeah, so it'll take you through all the steps. It'll tell you what ingredients you need, all the steps. It'll tell you what to set the temperature at. And it'll, you're, it'll come back to you and say, hey, it's now preheat to 400 degrees. Go ahead and put your food on. So it's just going to take you through the process. Okay. And once again, tell you when to flip it, got tell it, you when it. to take it off, and then put all those ingredients together. There's other features, right? So there's there's the cleaning part, which is, yep. tell me about that. So this is called Smart Clean. And so when you hit the Smart Clean button, what it's going to do is it's going to set it into a mode, and I'm not going to do it right now because it'll get really hot, um, but it'll basically set it into a really high temperature and it's going to do a burn off mode. Okay. So it's going to burn off all that stuff that you, gets collected on the top and it's basically just going to turn it into ash. Okay, got and it. then you still have to come back in and clean it, but at least it started the process where you started the dirty work for you. And the heating element is infrared? It's it's an infrared system. It's a convection system. Okay. Yep. With a double insulated um, shallow pan, double insulated. So it's okay. our proprietary technology. And there's never been an electric grill this size before? So Correct. Okay. This is the first full size electric grill. This 330 square inches. Okay. Um, this is actually is 422 with a warming rack. Where today most of the electric grills are about 150 square inches, something like that. And plus anywhere between... Four ninety nine and fifteen hundred dollars, depending on the brand. So, how much can I pick one of these up for, and when can I buy one? Sure. So, this one, um, this specific one, is nine ninety nine. Our base model, our base grill, is eight ninety nine. Our base griddle is seven ninety nine. Okay. And you can find this on currentbackyard.com. It will also be available come this spring at Ace, Wayfair, Williams Sonoma, Crate and Barrel, and Best Buy. And it's available now. It'll be yours? available February fifth. All right. Hey, well, thank you. Thank you.